Yo! <sighs> Man. Well, today's is unexpected. Can I say that? Unexpected. I'm gonna solve a problem that wasn't really a problem, but it's gonna be more fun now. Let me show you what I got. I have been, <sighs> God, I've been carrying all of my stuff in this backpack, which I think was like my high school backpack. It's a good backpack. It's got a place for a laptop, which is cool. I just pile everything in. You see these cables? This is the worst part. Cables and hard drives and headphones just tossed in willy nilly. And you know, it works fine. It carries all my stuff. It's great, but you know, it's, a, it's just a backpack. So today, I was at the thrift store and I saw this. <laughs> what? Cafe. And a thumbnail. Beautiful. A cafe box. Should we take a peek inside? Ooh. It's a box. Okay. I started thinking, what if all of my stuff could fit in a cafe box? I'm gonna have to do some intense thinking. I'm gonna try to get everything that I would need. If I'm gonna go somewhere, take my laptop, and I want to edit videos, produce some music, mix, ma whatever I want to do. Everything I need to do that will fit in this box. Extra stuff I can fit in the in the thing. I'm a backpack, that's what it's called. But for this, everything I need, right in this little box. That's what I'm gonna try to do today. My plan to do that, oh God, I went to, after I went to the thrift store, which you might've noticed, ouch, my hair. I got these at the thrift store, kind of cute, like 375. And then I went to, I went to the yard, I went to the yard, and this is just some high density foam. This is what I'm gonna be using for the layers. Okay, I'm gonna be stacking some of this stuff together, finish some layers, and then my stuff will fit magically. So without further ado, let's, I mean, I'd kind of like to jump right onto this. I'm really excited about it. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Ah, uh, bow, bow, oh yeah. All right, uh, let's, yep. Alrighty, here's everything that I need to fit in the briefcase. Some stuff here, that, and those three things. Oh, and here is a piece of paper that I cut to the exact dimensions of said briefcase so that I can lay everything out. But basically the idea is that the biggest things go on top so that when you remove them, there are room for the smaller things in their cavity. Does that make sense? I think the first step for me is to take my foam, cut a bunch of the sizes that I need. Once I have enough layers, once I have whatever, however many, this many layers is, then I can start to cut out what needs to be cut out on which layers. Does that make any sense? I don't know, but I'm just gonna start doing it and see what happens. So I realized I had quite a bit of figuring to do here in this drawing. Like notice, the laptop is this big rectangle. Okay, that sits on top. Underneath the laptop, it's my Akai MIDI. Okay, underneath that, an interface and some uh, things to hold cables. But I needed to know how many of these layers to cut each of those. So I had to do some kind of, some weird figuring. So I, what I did was an exploded view here. I figured that 11 of my pieces of foam can fit in the case of it, okay? So then I can measure, the top is just a piece to hold everything firm, and I can say the laptop is three pieces of foam thick, so the laptop will go and make sure there's a, the laptop hole in this one, this one, and this one. Like I have basically a list of everything I need to cut, so 
top one I need to cut all these things. Next one, cut all these. See what I'm saying? Okay? Down, so now I know what needs to be in what. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I'm gonna start cutting is what I'm gonna do. Because I know what to cut now. So, can we get it? I think we should do it. Let's cut. Let's make some stuff, huh? What do you say? Oh, ooh, ooh. hello. Ow, ow, ow! I think it's back! Well, that, it, it worked actually. This whole time I was like, God, it's not gonna work. It worked. This box fits everything I own effectively. And God, isn't it so weird? It's just weird enough. Kind of fun. Now you might've noticed, I hear someone saying, David, why does this video say part one? It seems like you're done with the box. Quite contrary. Far from done. A couple things I realized while making this box. I noticed that the foam, I can tell, it's not gonna hold up. The glue is the spray adhesive I used. Doesn't like the foam that much. It's not gonna hold up. After some extended use, and I will use it extendedly, it's not gonna hold up. This is effectively a prototype, Mach 1. So I've got plans to grab a hold of a CNC machine, which will make kind of a dope time lapse, I think. And cut it out of some nicer material, make real snug fits. And then of course I gotta paint it. It's leather, it needs to be painted. 
subtly, some designs. So there will be a part two and a part three of this video that will follow whenever I get to them. But for now, part one, just know it worked quite well. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying? I think I'm done. Uh, video's over, y'all can leave. There's an announcement, the new Patreon tiers. You might wanna give those a check out. Link in the description. $10 tiers now get a little extra, a little extra zhuzh. Check out that video. I guess it's, it's right here. You can give it a look if you're interested. And you just go to my Patreon there too. There's info there. And with that, I will see you later. See you later.